The boy who cried wolf. Once upon a time, a mischievous shepherd boy watched over his flock near a quiet village. Watching sheep all day is so boring. I wish something exciting would happen. The boy suddenly had an idea to tease everyone. Yeah! I will tell everyone that there is a wolf attacking. Yes! Wolf! Wolf! A wolf is attacking the sheep. Quick! Do the to the meadow! meadow. Save, Save the, the sheep! sheep! The wolf is real this time! The boy learned to late that. Lying had consequences. If you had been honest, we would have helped you. I understand now. I'll never lie again. The boy learned the importance of honesty, though it came at a great cost. Hello everyone. Welcome to the NDAI Tips channel. Today, I will guide you on how to create a 3D animated video from start to finish using AI. From creating scripts and images to editing a complete video, everything can be done easily with AI tools like ChatGPT, Piklumen, Kling AI, and CapCut. To demonstrate, I will retell a famous fable that many of you might have heard of, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. This is a meaningful story about a shepherd boy who often lied, causing the villagers to lose trust in him. When the wolf actually appeared, no one believed him anymore. Through this story, we not only learn a lesson about honesty but also discover how AI can turn a simple fairy tale into a vibrant and engaging animated video. Let's get started. The links to the AI tools used in this video will be included in the description for your convenience. Step 1. Use ChatGPT to create the video script and storyline. Type into ChatGPT, I want to create a 3D animated video with images for the story, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Can you help me generate the scenes, character dialogues, and prompts to create images for each scene? Please ensure the character's appearances remain consistent. Please help me. As you can see, ChatGPT has created a detailed script with each segment and dialogue for the characters, as well as prompts to generate images for each scene. Okay, now we will move on to step 2. Step 2. Create images with Piklumen. I will choose the flux model, set the image size to 16 colon 9, and generate 4 images at once. To ensure consistency for the characters, I will assign a code to each image here. Enter the prompt here and press Generate. And here are the images I created earlier. This website generates images very quickly and does not limit the number of images created per day. It helps us create incredibly detailed and beautiful animated scenes. Okay, I will download the images I find suitable to proceed to step 3. Use Kling AI to turn these still images into motion videos. Visit the website klingai.com. Log into your account or create a new one if you don't have one yet. Select the AI video option. Image to video. For the model option, I will choose version 1.5, the latest version. Click the Upload button here to upload the images. In the prompt section, describe the motion for the image. For example, smiling, blinking, talking. Panoramic effects like pan or zoom are also available. Choose the camera motion mode here if you want. Enter negative prompts. Describe what you don't want to appear in the video. For example, blur, hand glitches, facial distortions, motion streaks, blurred movements, deformed hands, or face distortions. Press generate. Okay. In just a few minutes, I already had my video. This version 1.5 is really great, it delivers sharper image quality and minimizes errors compared to version 1.0. Once satisfied with the result, click download to save the video. Do the same for the remaining images. Okay, the visuals are now complete, let's move on to the final step. Creating voiceovers for the characters and editing the video. I will transfer all the data files created in the previous steps into the CapCut software. As you can see on the screen, this is the result after editing the data files from the previous steps into a complete video. I arranged the data files in the order specified in the script. I added an introductory text for the video title. 
I added text for the narrator. To avoid confusion, I selected the first line for the narrator, then copied the narrator's dialogue into the first line. Select the text-to-speech option to choose a voice model, then click Generate Speech. Once upon a time, a mischievous shepherd boy watched over his flock near a quiet village. Next is the boy's voice. I did the same, selected the second line, chose the kiddo voice, and Why clicked Generate Daddy Speech. So boring. I, wish something the I repeated the process for the voices of the other characters. Where's the vault? Boy. Adjust the clip length to match the voiceover audio of the characters. Go to the Transitions section to select effects for the scene transitions accordingly. Continue to the Effects section to choose effects that emphasize the drama in the video. Go to the Audio section to add dramatic effects, background music, and transition sounds to the video. Continue to tease the villagers with his prank. <laughs> A real Volf appeared and began attacking the sheep. The boy panicked and Adjust the zoom in and zoom out of the video appropriately. The villagers ignored his cries, tired of his tricks. He's lying again. As you can see here, I have added various audio clips and effects. Review everything, then go to the adjustment section, increase sharpen to 46, clarity to 38, and particles to 6. The boy panicked. To ensure the best quality, I will export the video in 4K and 60 frames per second format. And here is my final result. Let's watch it the together. The boy who cried Volf. Once upon a time, a mischievous shepherd boy watched over his flock near a quiet village. Watching sheep all day is so boring. I wish something exciting would happen. The boy suddenly had an idea to tease everyone. Yeah! I will tell everyone that there is a wolf attacking. Yes! Wolf! Wolf! A wolf is attacking the sheep! Quick! To the, to the meadow! meadow. Save, Save the sheep! The villagers rushed to the meadow, only to find the boy laughing. <laughs> Where's the wolf? Boy? There's no wolf! Bye! was just joking. Don't waste our time again, boy. The villagers returned to their work, shaking their heads in annoyance. The next day, the boy continued to tease the villagers with his prank. Wolf, a wolf is really here this time. Though annoyed, the villagers rushed to help, Quick, to the fearing the boy Save might be the telling sheep. the truth. The boy <laughs> laughed harder, but the villagers resolved not to trust him again. Fool us once, shame on you. Fool us twice, shame on us. You'll regret this one day, boy. Then, one day, a real Volf appeared and began attacking the sheep. The boy panicked and shouted. Volf! Volf! Help! A Volf is here! Please, help! The Volf is real this time! The villagers ignored his cries, tired of his tricks. He's lying again. The boy learned to late that. Lying had consequences. I feel so sorry for my harmful lies. If you had been honest, we would have helped you. I understand now. I'll never lie again. The boy learned the importance of honesty, though it came at a great cost. A 3D animated video made entirely by AI, from script to visuals to editing. With tools like ChatGPT, Piclumen, Klingai, and CapCut, you can create unique videos yourself without needing design or programming skills. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the NDAI Tips channel for more great AI tips. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.